Today, we're going to have a look at how we can build custom components in uh, Streamlit using React and external libraries like Material UI. So there are already plenty of components that you can use directly from Streamlit and also from the Streamlit com community, but obviously uh, you, you may find yourself needing to uh, use something that doesn't already exist. So we'll, we'll go through that process. Uh, fortunately, it's not too difficult. It does require a little bit of like front end code, um, but Streamlit does make it pretty uh, straightforward. So let's have a quick look at what this card might look like, or this component it is a card. So all we have for our custom component is, is this little card in the middle here. Uh, the rest of this is just Streamlit. And then this bit here is based on a Material UI uh, component. So if I go back, uh, we just have a title, subtitle, um, text or body of text, and a link here, which is a Material UI button, we click on it. And for now, it's just taking us to Google. Um, but we can essentially, uh, like an object in Python, we can pass whatever values we like uh, to this component. So here are the actual cards from Material UI that we're basing this on. And with these cards, we can include much more than what I have shown you. This is just the absolute um, basics. Uh, like we can in include these little profile um, images. Um, drop downs, options, and, and so on, even little expanders, um, pictures. So yeah, there's a, a lot we can do with it. And as far as I know, there isn't anything like this uh, available directly within Streamlit. So let's go ahead and set up our environment for developing this component. So if you are on Mac and you have Homebrew installed, you can just go brew install node and this will install node.js and the node package manager i already have it installed so i'm not going to rerun it uh, if you are not on mac or you don't have homebrew you can download it from the node.js website so over here this here Node.js.org um, and then download. Okay, and you have Windows, Mac, uh, and so on. So once you have that installed, you also need to install Streamlit. I'm going to assume you already have it installed. Uh, but if not, you just pip install Streamlit. Now I have Streamlit in another environment, so I'm going to activate that. I'm going to activate Streamlit. And the Streamlit side of things, I will run from this terminal window. Now, to build our component for Streamlit, we need to follow a certain structure. And fortunately, Streamlit provides us with a few templates that we can start from to make our lives a little bit easier. So let me show you where you can find those. So if you just type in um, Streamlit and GitHub, or maybe we can go Streamlit Components Template. It's probably easier. We come here. Okay, and we have the Streamlit Component Template uh, repo. We just want to git clone this, so we Click on code over here, copy this, and then switch back to our terminal. Um, navigate to whatever folder you're going to store the uh, template folder within. So I'm going to go to Documents, um, Projects, and I'm just going to write Git clone, and then I'm going to clone the that 
of the component template repository. Okay, um, let's open that in VS Code and we'll have a look at what we have in here. Okay, so on the right over here we have our directory structure. Uh, we have a few different templates. So we're going to go with this template here which uses uh, React and within this template directory this is our actual um, like project. So we can almost ignore the rest of this stuff here. Just anything within template is what we care about. Uh, we have set up pi, so we're going to use this and manifest for creating a, a pip package which will contain our component. So to actually use that component, we pip install our component and then we just import it into our um, like our streamlit app script or app.py usually um, and then use it <laughs> and within here we just have the default file names here or uh, default directory names of my component we're going to change some of these uh, inside here we have init.py so that's where we're uh, initializing our stream it server or app from um, cool. we'll go through that it's fine uh, we have this front end, uh, which is anything in here is the React side of things. So if we go a little further, we have some styling, uh, the, the index. Um, and then in here, we have these uh, TSX files. Okay. So uh, in here, we're using TypeScript. So if you know TypeScript, it's really good. If not, uh, it's not too much different from Python. I mean, it's fairly different, but it's not uh, unbelievably different. So I think if you know Python, you probably read this at least and, and kind of follow what we're doing. Um, but I, I also don't really know TypeScript. Uh, but I can just kind of get through uh, putting something simple together with this. So most of the work we're going to do is going to be my component TSX, uh, but we are going to modify a lot of these uh, files as well. So first, let's rename everything uh, because everything at the moment is using default names. Um, and we obviously are building a custom component. We want to give it our own name um, that makes it a little more identifiable. So we'll start by going to my component up here and then rename that to ST card component. So ST just streamlet card component. Uh, down here we have my component. I'm going to rename that to card component. Basically anywhere that we have my component, we modify to card component, uh, we update these imports. Okay, so inside card component here, if we just find and replace, so find my component and replace that with card component, Place all of those, uh, see if we have anything for my component. Nope, okay. Save that and let's have a look at the index. I think we also have something here. Um, so just, just my component here. Okay, and replace those. So we have everything in there. And in set of pi, we also want to update the name here. So this will change it to streamlit card component. Okay, so this defines it for our um, for our package later on. 
and this actually, sorry, so this should um, align with the directory or the folder that we have here. So not streamlit, but st. And in our manifest here, we also need to update this to the um, st card component. So this needs to point to the front end slash build. We don't have the build directory yet, uh, but we will. So that needs to go st card component from here. Okay, um, so that should pretty much be everything we need to rename. Maybe other little bits are actually in init. Here, we also want to change this to SD card component. So here, SD card component. Anything else? Okay, now oh, looks good. So let's go ahead and actually uh, initialize the current or the basically default, other than the, the things we've renamed version of this component and see how that looks. So we'll go to and here we have the um, what is it component template. Inside is a template. Um, See, so yeah, template. And then we have ST card component. So in here, we also have front end directory. And uh, inside here, we have all of our packages and, and everything. So, like the node side of stuff. So first, one of the first things we need to do is actually install the node packages we need for our, for our component. So to start, we just do npm install. And this is just going to install everything from this package.json file. So run that, it might take a moment. Um, so just give it a second. Okay, so that's done. And next thing we want to do is install the node packages that are required uh, specifically for the card that we're going to build. Uh, so these are all the node packages we've just installed. They're for Streamlit to function, like the core of the um, packages that we need. But because we are using this material UI card thing, uh, we need a few extra things. So we need to npm install again. And this is kind of similar to like a pip install. Um, although specific to this directory. Okay, so when we pip install, we're um, installing to our Python environment. In this case, it's almost like the environment is this directory in this, like, um, this project or React project. So npm install, we need MUI material, MUI icons material, icons material, motion react, and also emotion styled. Now, I think this is probably going to give us an error see okay so yes we get this error it's um we have a dependency conflict with i think if i remember correctly yeah so we have a stream component template and this um throws some dependency conflicts with the, the mui material stuff so it's annoying but we can just get around it by um, adding this legacy peer depths. Now I haven't, I've been playing around with this and I haven't noticed any issues uh, pop up from using this legacy peer depths, but um, obviously you just need to be aware, like don't just 
operating there all the time. Um, but for, in this case, it seems to work fine. Okay, so with that we can we should be able to run um, everything. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the first thing we want to do is so we're going to run two things here. We're going to run uh, within this front end directory. We write npm start. This is going to initialize or execute the the server that hosts our React component, and then we also need to open another terminal window. Uh, we also need to navigate to our template directory, so uh, CD documents projects. It is it's a com component template templates. Okay, CD template. And in here we have an SD card component. Again, we have this initPy. Initpy is like the well, it's not exactly that, uh, but whilst we're in development, it is just like a template app for just running and testing um, our component. So we just write streamlit run init.py. So previous videos, you've probably seen me write streamlit run app.py. Uh, this is kind of acting as our app.py whilst we're in the development stage. Um, but once we switch to um, a release version, this init.py, uh, we will modify a little bit and it will not be <laughs> for, for doing this streamlit run. It will do something slightly different. It will um, extract everything from a from a compiled uh, build distribution. So now we have these. We're hosting two two servers. We have this local host uh, three zero zero one. If we if we go over there, open that, we're going to see well nothing. So this is just hosting our React component, uh, but our React component by itself doesn't actually show anything. So we actually need to go over and, and open the streamlet um, localhost. So that is in 8501. Okay, and now we have this um, like template component so we can click here and we it updates this basically <laughs> okay maybe even change this Let's enter yeah we, we get this okay so that's cool um but obviously we want to build our like a custom component um and we'll go ahead and we'll do that in the uh, in the next video uh, for now i think we'll leave it there uh, we've sort of set up the environment, we've um, started running uh, the default component, and I think that's, that's good enough for now. And yeah, in the, in the next video, we'll be able to really focus on actually building the component itself, um, which means we're going to be toying with the code over in the card component TSX uh, quite a bit and clean this up. And, yeah, creating our card. So I hope that's been useful. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.